Your back affects your daily health. Welcome to another installment of Your Spine, Your Health. Because you have a spine, it's important to understand what chiropractic care means to your health. Your health always starts with a regulatory college. In this case, the College of Chiropractors of BC serves to ensure you receive appropriate diagnosis and care from a qualified chiropractic doctor today and tomorrow. That's also why BC's chiropractors fund research and education. Today, I want to introduce you to Dr. Jay Robinson, who's going to explain how you receive a diagnosis. A patient recognizes that they have a problem. Maybe they've got pain. Maybe they've got a part of their body that doesn't work the way they expect it to work anymore. So they show up to their healthcare provider and expect to have that problem fixed. Well, what exactly is that problem? This is exactly what a trained healthcare provider will do. Determine the nature and severity of the complaint and develop an appropriate treatment for whatever the problem is. It all starts with getting a detailed patient history. And this is everything from, has the patient suddenly lost a lot of weight? Are they having overwhelming problems with fatigue? Well, that's going to be a big difference in a diagnosis if they come in with a sore back compared to if they told you, well, yeah, I picked up a box that was too heavy for me. The next step is crucial. Depending on the problem, this could mean a chiropractic adjustment or a referral to a medical doctor or other specialist. Well, depending on what the kind of problem is and what's actually walked into your office on that day, it could be as simple as pick up the phone and get them an appointment with their, with their family doctor, or it could be more complex like, well, let's get them over to emergency because what they thought was rib pain is actually a heart attack. And those have walked into my office every year for a dozen years. So now that you've decided to make the phone call to make an appointment to see your family chiropractor, what's next? When you get into the second level of things, it's you're looking at the patient, then you're touching the patient, and you're, you're finding out what that problem actually feels like. And a chiropractor is trained to recognize the difference with their hands in what's going on in that person's body. That's where an orthopedic test, namely testing range of motion, comes in. This tells us more information about the problem. And again, depending on the patient's story, you don't move a fractured limb around, but you would move a, a limb around to find out if there's maybe something going on in the person's back that could be leading us to the story of something like a herniated disc, which is a fairly common problem in our society. The next step is to get more specific information on the area of pain using imaging tools like x-rays, CT scans, and MRIs if necessary. And that gives the chiropractor and anyone else trained in diagnosis a much better ability to determine what's actually going on for this patient. So who actually makes or provides you a diagnosis? Health law identifies which practitioner can and must provide you a diagnosis. In this case, your family chiropractor. At the end of the day, proper diagnosis is critical for your proper treatment and care. You diagnose what the problem is, you find out the appropriate treatment for the problem to get them better the fastest, most efficient way to get that person back into their daily life as soon as possible. As you can see, it's not just about what we can do for you today. We're working to build a better tomorrow through better healthcare outcomes for you. The College of Chiropractors of BC sets the standards for safety outcomes as well as your informed consent.